Hey guys, remember me? <laughs> I don't remember me. I know it has been a long time since I have uploaded a video or done anything really, but I recently just graduated university and obviously that took a lot of my time, but unfortunately I haven't really been yo-yoing as much as I should, considering that the World Yo-Yo Contest is in two weeks. And again, I have procrastinated. But if you don't know who I am and you're new to my dead channel or you just simply forgot about me, hi, my name is Anne Connolly and I am a professional yo-yo player. Uh, and I say this because I haven't really been yo-yoing again as much as I should. According to the official World Yo-Yo Contest website, it will be in 13 days. This year the contest will be taking place in Shanghai for the first time ever in China. And yeah, obviously I am really excited. 13 days until it happens. I actually leave tomorrow because I am traveling to Taiwan for a week before and then uh, heading to China a bit earlier. But if you ask me, am I ready? No. Do I have a freestyle song? No. Have I registered? Yes, last minute. But do I know what yo-yo I'm using? Of course, I'm using the new Ann Connolly Checkpoint Pivot Delrin Caps Edition. Hey! That's pretty much all I know that I'm doing. In addition to being a yo-yo player, I am a procrastinator as well. The thing is, I wasn't actually sure if I was going to compete, although I knew I was going to, you know, come to the contest. I have been going to the World Yo-Yo Championships since 2000, and that is a lot of World Yo-Yo contests to be going every year to. Obviously, I knew that once it was announced, I would be going, but of course, I registered at the last minute, and I have not sent in my music yet, which, by the way, they extended the deadline, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> The organizers probably hate me right now because I haven't really done anything. I haven't sent them any music. But I will do that today. That is my goal today, to do that before I leave tomorrow. Because I'm leaving tomorrow. The World Yo-Yo Contest, I am really excited. If you guys have not been, this is obviously the biggest event for anyone into yo-yoing. It is the World Championship. There are players from all over the world who come. Lately, it's been taking place in a different country each year. I'm excited to go to China. I was there seven years ago. I will come back to Shanghai. Yay! And like, excuse me, I am really sweaty right now. It is so humid here in Prague, and I know it's gonna be even hotter in Asia. You know that it's a sign that the World Yo-Yo Contest is near when you feel humidity. If you know me, you guys know that I've been yo-yoing for a long time, and I love love the World Yo-Yo Contest. It is the highlight of the summer. It's what I look forward to every year. And now it has arrived, almost, in 13 days, and I have no freestyle, but I will make one. <laughs> so yesterday, I ended up getting a pedicure. My feet, look, you can see, I got like a farmer's tan on my feet. Anyway, so I got my nails all done, and they were in desperate need of some TLC. After traveling for years and not really doing anything and taking care of my feet, they were pretty nasty. I got some treatment on my feet to prepare for this trip, and while I was in the salon getting this done, on the radio, they played Captain Jack. If you guys don't know this song, this was a classic, like, the go-to yo-yo song that people would use in their freestyles. I guess it was around 2000 or like the late 90s. This song was like everywhere. So many people used this song and I was just rushed with a wave of nostalgia and happiness just hearing this song. I haven't heard this song in years. Play it if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. It's a weird anime girl. <laughs> Oh my god! It just it makes me so happy. It was the song was I guess my childhood in, of yo-yoing, and there are so many songs like this. I mean, if you guys have any I guess yo-yo songs that trigger you, uh, that remind you of a certain player or just a certain freestyle. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and then again, that brings me just good memories. And I realized, just at the salon, as I was getting my nails done, <laughs> that yo-yoing has brought me so much happiness. And I feel like quite sad that I didn't really do much in the past couple months with it. I mean, you know, I've been yo-yoing for over 20 years. To be honest, I don't play yo-yo every day. I definitely used to. For me, I play it when I, I don't know. I don't know. Like it will always be a part of my life and I will always play with it. And yeah, I definitely took a couple months break, but 
Now that the World Yo-Yo Contest is coming up, I'm really hyped about it and I'm really happy that I'm going. So what I need to do today is I need to edit my music. Definitely. I'm sorry, Sumimasen. Sorry, organizers. I'm sorry, Hero. <laughs> I will upload that today. And then I will uh, get my hair done. I'm going to get my hair ready for the World Yo-Yo Contest. It's... I don't know. Then I will head to the Slushni yo-yo shop here in Prague, visit the guys, and hopefully get my yo-yo prepared. Do you hear it? So the bearing needs cleaning and I am too lazy to clean it myself. Maybe you guys have seen the yo-yo shop before in like other videos, uh, not my videos. I guess I will show it today because it is an amazing shop. I love it. So let me just uh, get the day started. <laughs> You still have so many fidget spinners. I don't know. <laughs> I think that I'm not going anywhere anymore, anytime soon. And there's nowhere else to put them? It takes up so much space. No, there's too many of them in the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Downstairs. There's more. Yeah. Okay. Hi, these are mine. They're not selling though. <laughs> Can you help me? Clean your bearings? Yes. <laughs> Can you clean my bearing? Sure. Because <laughs> I'm going to use it at Worlds and it sounds really bad. And it's new too, so it wasn't my fault. Sure, yeah. yeah. This one is uh, maybe mm -hmm. jammed even. Really? Maybe it will be better if if like I, uh, I give you a bearing. Like bearing. Yeah, you think so? Uh, it will be much better. Mm. But like, it can be clean, but mm -hmm. it's better just to... Yeah. Because it can happen again. Maybe uh -huh. there is some tiny particles uh, yeah. doing... Of course. Thank you. And did you hear about the new loop uh, called Dark Matter? Yeah. Uh, dark Matter, no. There is a new one. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. That's the turntable. Wow. That's the new turntable, mm -hmm. which actually comes with the new oil mm -hmm. called dark matter which that is supposed so to be really really good uh -huh. and should be able to fix your bearing i think there is some like particles inside like uh -huh. solid particles mm -hmm. that will like improve the bearing mm -hmm. okay you can test it yeah thank you then to handle that bearing <laughs> it's smooth as well mm -hmm. my place is really really good yeah yeah, yeah. I think it'll be okay. Uh, if you need, mm -hmm. I will have plenty of bearings there. Yeah. So you can always ask. Me. Okay. Do you have a booth there? No, I don't have a booth, but I will have my case there. Yay! So come to Peter's workshop. He will sure. clean your bearings. <laughs> Thank you. But your string is horrible. <laughs> you have your free star already? Yeah, of course. Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> that is so nice. Wow, I, I didn't even think and, this is metal. And the craziest thing mm -hmm. about this sale, in my opinion, <laughs> in each box is a spare string. Uh -huh. No, no, no. There is Whoa. actually the black light stripe. Just plug it in uh -huh. into any USB. Uh -huh. What? And this is actually the black light. What, what is the purpose of this? <laughs> then you come and play. Yeah. But you can film the video with it. Yeah. But in the dark, mm -hmm. it works so, so much better. Is this tape? So you can tape it? Yeah, yeah. Ah, you can that's tape nice. it anywhere. It's super nice to have that it. That is so cool. In a package for free. Yeah. It's like such a nice ga gadget. It's a nice freebie. And what is this called again? Kui. 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 And you can actually also like remove like the everything from uh -huh. there, like the caps and the LEDs and then really? it's super light oil. Mm. Like super cool, only weighs like uh -huh. 45. Yeah, yeah. That's also pretty mm -hmm. cool. It reminds me of an avant-garde. Like of the course, inside. it's like kind of based on the shape. Yeah, yeah. I believe. Well, that is so cool. Right? Like for yeah. free, you get such a cool gadget. <laughs> That's a really cool idea. Like it's fun and then if you don't want to have the light up, or anything then and then it's, it's like a nice really video. light and it's mm -hmm. super fun have you tried this too? the new Sasquatch? no i haven't you should try yeah it's huge is this 4a it is not 4a no this is a 1a oh it is huge and it's metal 
It's nice, right? Yeah. But you made a knot? I made a knot. I have Coming signature soon? colors, not yes, yoyas. But what about the signature yoya? This is the latest one. No, I mean <laughs> signature design. I will never have a signature model. I don't want one. Only because I like to use all of the yoyas. Mm -hmm. And so then I would have to promote it. And I don't really want to promote one yoyo. -yo. Yeah. I want to use but everything. For example, mm -hmm. It's you know, like if I would say that I like to hang out with all the girls. Oh, yeah? You know. Yeah, right? But, You're exclusive. But I want to not be exclusive. I want to be an open relationship with yo-yos. <laughs> By Yo-Yo Factory. It reminds me of a protostar, actually. Doesn't it? Or North Star? This one's just big. Mm -hmm. But play is really nice. Yeah, can I play it with it? It's responsive. Oops. How <laughs> come? Okay. Right out of the packaging. Yeah, tell, tell them. <laughs> well, at least I found it. <laughs> hey! Now, which way? Nope. So the inside is like a metal. <laughs> so it will be much more durable Durable. compared to other yoyos with <laughs> a plastic bearing. So more. that it won't crack. And look how easy is it to take off the bearing. <laughs> so you don't have to buy multi-tool. Ah, <laughs> pretty nice. Right? Yeah. It's a good build. And I, I really like the uh, the color, the galaxy color. No, this one actually even cheaper. This one is 329 or 25. Mm -hmm. I love that it comes with an extra bearing. It's like a, like a little bit more inexpensive yeah. version of this one. It's like the premium one. With the responsive CSS. Ah, this is it's responsive. responsive first. And this bearing will make it unresponsive. Understood. Perfect. I love it. It's supposed to be, like a, be new a new one, but I don't think one can be replaced. Mm -hmm. The one so, can be replaced. The so. one is the one. It's, it's the chosen the one. <laughs> if they would call this like one, two. Two. <laughs> two. <laughs> okay. yeah. Ciao, Take bye. Care. And enjoy. I'm back home now. I got a haircut, but you can't really tell. Probably can't tell the difference. It's really hot, I'm really sweaty. And so even after I got my haircut and everything, it's just kind of ruined anyway. It looks the same. So now I have to pack. I'm leaving and I definitely need to edit the freestyle music because I haven't done that yet. Uh, but just some final notes I wanted to include in this video. Yeah, I am not prepared <laughs> and that's not a good thing. It's very important that you do prepare, that you do practice before any type of competition, not even just for yo-yoing, just in life in general. The thing is, I've been to the World Yo-Yo Contest since 2000. My goal is not to compete and win competitions anymore. My goal has been to have fun, to put on a show, and most importantly, get other people into yo-yoing to make our community larger. I have always wanted that, and I believe, at least for me, that there are other ways of doing this without actually having to like really compete. But competing and doing really well is very important because that's what makes the entire contest. I'm not just a competitor uh, competing in the 1A and women's division, but I'm also a spectator. And it's what I really love about the World Yo-Yo Contest. To go there and to see the freestyles in person is a whole nother experience than watching it online on YouTube. So all of the other competitors who are competing, who have practiced for months, if not probably even for the past year, that is definitely something to look up to and don't follow uh, my procrastination uh, habits. Yeah, I guess. That's really all I wanted to say. I hope I didn't put it in like a bad light. Oh no. <laughs> this is this is just me. I will uh, talk to you guys later. I'm gonna get on a flight. I have a layover in Dubai, which I'm really excited about. I haven't been in Dubai before. I will be there for eight hours, so we shall see. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, thanks for sticking around and thanks for remembering me if you guys have. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.